Hello friends, welcome to VTC Academy. Today in this presentation, we are going to prove the binomial theorem. So in our previous video, we have discussed about the introduction of binomial theorem. And here in this presentation, let us prove the binomial theorem by using the mathematical induction. So the statement of binomial theorem is, let n be the positive integer and x y be the real numbers. Then the binomial term that is x plus y whole power n is equal to n c 0 into x power n into y power 0 plus nc1 into x power n minus 1 y power 1 into nc2 into x power n minus 2 into y square plus so on ncr into x power n minus r into y power r plus so on ncn into x power 0 into y power n. Now let us prove this theorem by using the mathematical induction. So first let us consider the given statement as the equation 1. And now let us substitute n is equal to 1. So here when n is equal to 1 we get the LHS term as x plus y whole power 1. So by substituting here n is equal to 1 on the RHS side we get 1c0 into x power 1 into y power 0 plus 1c1 into x power 1 minus 1 into y power 1. So this would come as 1c0 into x power 1 into y power 0 plus 1c1 into x power 1 minus 1 would come as x power 0 into y power 1. And now let us substitute n is equal to n plus 1. So on substituting here we get the LHS term as x plus y whole power n plus 1. So we observe that this term is in the form of a power m into a power n which is equal to a power n plus n. Now let us try this term in the form of a power m into a power n. So we get here x plus y whole power n into x plus y. And now here let us expand x plus y whole power n which is the given statement here. So we get here nc0 into x power n into y power 0 plus nc1 into x power n minus 1 into y power 1 plus nc2 into x power n minus 2 into y square plus so on plus ncr into x power n minus r into y power r plus so on ncn into x power 0 into y power n. And now let us multiply each individual term x and y with this whole group. So on multiplying here x with this group we get nc0 into x power n into x would come as x power n plus 1 into y power 0 plus nc1 and here we observe that the bits are equal so on adding the powers of x we get here n minus 1 plus 1 into y power 1 plus nc2 into x power n minus 2 plus 1 into y square plus so on and here coming over to the rth term we get here ncr into x power n minus r plus 1 into y power r plus so on plus ncn into x power 0 into x would come as here x power 1 into y power n and now let us multiply y with this whole group so we get here nc0 into x power n into y power 1 plus nc1 into x power n minus 1 into y square plus nc2 into x power n minus 2 into y cube plus so on and now here let us write the previous term of the rth term which is ncr minus 1 into x power n minus r plus 1 into y power r minus 1. So here by multiplying y with this rth term we get here nc r minus 1 into x power n minus r plus 1 and here by multiplying y into y r minus 1 we get here y power r minus 1 plus 1. So here we can cancel out minus 1 and plus 1 and we get here y power r plus so on and here we have the previous term of this nth term as nc n minus 1 into x power 0 into y power n minus 1. So by multiplying this with y we get this as nc n minus 1 into x power 1 and here by multiplying the y terms we get here y power n minus 1 plus 1 and here also we can cancel over minus 1 and plus 1. So we get here y power n plus the nth term here nc n into x power 0 into y power n plus 1 and here this would come as nc0 into x power n plus 1 into y power 0 and here we can cancel over minus 1 and plus 1 we observe that x power n and y power 1 is a common factor from these both terms so by taking these terms as a common factor from these two terms we get nc1 plus nc0 into x power n into y and coming to the next term here x power n minus 2 plus 1 would come as x power n minus 1 so by taking here this both terms as a common factor we get here nc2 plus nc1 into x power n minus 1 into y square and here coming over to the rth term by taking here 
x and y terms as a common factor, we get ncr plus ncr minus 1 into x power n minus r plus 1 into y power r. And now here we observe that x power 1 and y power n are the common terms in both these terms. So by taking these terms as a common factor, we get ncn plus ncn minus 1 into x into y power n plus so on the nth term ncn into x power 0 into y power n plus 1. And now let us find the values of binomial coefficients. So here first let us find the value of nc0. So we know that nc0 value is 1 and we can write nc0 as n plus 1 c0. So and here we can use the formula ncr plus ncr minus 1 is equal to n plus 1 cr to find the values of remaining terms and then we can use the formula ncn is equal to 1 which can be written as n plus 1 c n plus 1. So here we can write nc0 as n plus 1 c0 into x power n plus 1 into y power 0 and here we observe that nc1 plus nc0 is in the form of this formula where r value is 1. So by applying this formula we get here n plus 1 c1 into x power n into y and again here by applying the formula we get n plus 1 c as r value is 2. Here let us write 2 into x power n minus 1 into y square plus so on plus n plus 1 cr into x power n minus r into y power r plus so on. Here the previous term of the nth term which is ncn plus ncn minus 1 is in the form of the same formula. So we get here n plus 1 cn into x y power n plus so on the nth term ncn can be written as n plus 1 cn plus 1 into x power 0 into y power n plus 1. And here observe the given statement and this statement we observe that n is equal to n plus 1. As here we proved that n is equal to n plus 1 we can say that it is true for all the natural numbers where n belongs to n. So this is how we prove the binomial theorem. Hope you understood the concept. Refer to more videos on binomial theorem on our website vtshacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.